So uh, we, when we invest in equities, obviously everybody has different styles. So over a period of uh, time, our style has also evolved. And we have very succinctly captured that in, uh, in an acronym, which is QGLP. So QGLP are the four words, which stands for quality, growth, longevity, and price. Quality is the first thing where we are looking for essentially high ROE businesses run by very competent management. We also want to buy very high quality growth franchises where we believe that growth should be exceeding the earnings growth of the index uh, uh, sufficiently higher. So we want, also want to have a, a company which will have very long uh, gestation, uh, sorry, very long period of high growth and high quality because we are not looking for uh, one year or two year trades here. We are looking for a very long tenured growth rate maybe 10 years, maybe 15 years, the higher the better essentially. High quality, high growth equities essentially will compound at a higher rate than any other asset class in India. So essentially the advantage of let's say a 3, 4 or 5% annually that you get in terms of the compounding rate will transform into huge multiple expansion in the initial corpus that you invest versus any other asset class. The last part in our uh, framework or philosophy is price, which, uh, which P stands for. So essentially price is also very important. The entry price is what determines uh, your you know, ultimate compounding rate. So we are, we are very wary of buying very expensive stocks. So we'd like to buy stocks at very comfortable valuations, but in an environment where you know, very high quality growth franchise might not be available at a comfortable price, we are happy to pay a premium, but we should be comfortable that there is a margin of safety in the valuation. All these four factors when they come together, and let me tell you that that happens only very rarely that you know a stock will pass through all these filters of quality, growth, longevity of growth, and price. But when this happens, this is a stock that we really like, and this is a stock, then we allocate very strongly on it. Now, I will like to uh, leave you with a thought here that how many, just think about the list of billionaires that you see typically in any newspaper, in any magazine, Forbes India, Fortune, there, there are a whole lot of businesses running on, you know, generating lists of billionaires. You'd see that a majority of them, a large portion of such billionaires have created their wealth from equity. Well, that equity tends to be concentrated in a single stock, which could be the one stock of the company that they have promoted or created, or they could have invested in a few select stocks like Warren Buffet has done over a period of time. But what I wanted to say is that a few very high quality, very high growth and long term sustaining growth franchises are what tend to create the maximum amount of wealth for most wealthy people. TheFundu.com, enabling confident investment decisions.